The overall goal of this experimental procedure is to assess the involvement of neural substrates of thalamic lesion-induced central post-stroke pain using the radioisotope tracer method. This method can help answer key questions in which brain area involved in central post-stroke pain. The main advantage of this technique is that it is less expensive and more efficient to perform compared with the other brain mapping techniques. In this procedure, perform the von Frey and Planter tests to establish baselines by placing the rat in an acrylic enclosure for 30 minutes. Obtain von Frey filaments that have the same length but varying diameters to provide a range of forces of 2 to 100 grams. Next, use the filaments to stimulate the center of the animal's hind paw through a net-like port on the acrylic plate. When the rats exhibit a paw withdrawal response to the stimulation, record the filament number. Then, use ascending filaments and determine the lowest value for the withdrawal response. Repeat the test for a total of three times in succession on the same rat until the maximum applied pressure is recorded. Using a reference list, convert the filament number to the corresponding force and then average the values. Use an infrared beam to stimulate the center of the rat's hind paw through a glass plate. Press the red bottom of the planter device twice to measure the withdrawal response latency. Set the intertrial interval to...